This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we'll get in our next topic that is text to types and text adoption. Okay, so uh, topics that we are going to cover they are define text types. Basically, we will understand what are text types, how they are used. Okay, then master data text. What are the text maintained in the master data, like in the material master uh, uh, business partner purchase info record? We will see that. Then we will see defined text adoption, how the texts are adopted from uh, master data text to various purchasing documents or from one purchasing document to another purchasing document. We will see that. How to define new types for long text for purchasing? So, how to define the new text types? We will see that how to set the copy functions so how to for the text adoption how to set the copy function we will see that and then fixing indicator importance of the fixing indicator so what is fixing indicator how it is used those things we will discuss okay so first we will start with the text types in purchasing okay in many procurement transactions in many procurement transactions you need to specify the relevant materials and services using long text so normally when you create a purchase order or a request for quotation okay or any contract or any scheduling agreement normally we will be entering the material material code so from the material code you will get the material description or sometimes what happens is if the material code is not there Suppose let's say you are procuring a non-stock item. So you want to maintain a long text. So though you want to maintain a text. So those kind of things you can maintain using the long text. Long text. Okay. So however, you can also include supplementary long text in the purchasing documents. So other than this, other than the material, material description, you want to include some other text, some instructions to the uh, supplier okay uh, regarding let's say packing instructions okay or regarding regarding delivery date you want to pass on information some information to the supplier so those things are managed using text using text okay for example include long text for packing instructions or instructions relating to the delivery okay so these things you want other than the material description material code material description you want to pass on some information to the supplier okay like uh, packing instructions how to pack the product what precautions he need to take during the delivery of the material okay or some information on the delivery date so that thing you maintain in the long text you maintain in the long text okay for the individual categories of purchasing documents, specify the text types you want to maintain in the document header or in the document title. So normally you will have text in two places, in header and in item. So let me open in notepad file. Okay, so normally you will have text in header. I'll show you this in the system and at item level item level okay so let me show you this in the system i will log into the s4 hana system this is the s4 hana system so let me go to a already created PO. so let me go to one of the PO. Okay, so here if you see this, there's a PO here. It is already created and uh, good GR is done and uh, invoice receipt is done. Okay, so if you go to header, let me let me expand the header section. If I go to header, you see here there is a tab here called text. If you go to text, see here you have some text types. You see header text, header note. If you scroll down, you have a lot of text types. You see, of course, as we are in display mode everything is grayed out okay but if you are in change mode or during creation you can enter some text over here which later on can be printed and uh, passed on to the supplier 
okay so now today we are understanding how to define all these text types okay in the configuration and also this is at header level okay now for each item also suppose let me close this let me open the item details in the item details also you see here there is a tab called text if you go to this text okay you see here there are some text types you see item text info record po text material po text like this you have some text types so now we will be understanding shortly how these text types are created if you want a new text type let's say your client says that we want one more text type then how to create that and how they are how they are how they are adopted suppose let's say your client says that instead of entering the text in this purchasing document every time we want to adopt it from a purchase info record or we want to adopt it from a metal master so they will maintain in the metal master as a one time that has to copy to all the po's of that material okay so how to do that adoption and all we will be discussing in this session okay so uh, the point to be noted here is you have two things one is you can maintain the text at header level and at the item level at the item okay that's what we need to understand okay now for purchase requisitions for purchase requisitions you can only define text types for the items okay so other purchasing documents like purchase order contract scheduling agreement all those things you have text at both the places at header and at item but for purchase requisitions for prs you have only at text type only if at item level okay let me show you that now itself so this is the po right okay so now let me go to the a purchase requisition so let me go to me 53 so if i go to a existing purchase requisition if i go to header see at header you don't have you have text but only one only one okay so but at the item level you have the text you have the text you have the text okay so that is the item level for purchase requisition so you can have the text only at the item level okay so that's what it says okay so basically uh, we have the text we can define text types for all the purchasing documents like request for quotation PO, scheduling agreement, contract, purchase requisitions. Okay, and you can define the copy rules and also you can define the fixing indicator. I will show you all these things in the configuration. And also you have the text in the info record also. I will be showing that in the, in, in the system. And you can maintain the text type for the business partner also, supplier. In the business partner also, you can set up the text types and what are the text type relevant for that particular uh, uh, business partner okay so you can maintain all these things in the system you can maintain all these things in the system okay so now let's start with the uh, this is the this is what we just discussed suppose let's say these are header text header text and these are item text okay so let me show you in the configuration so let's so this is the po right so PO, you have all this added text. So let me open. Let me first go to configuration. SPRO. SAP reference IMG. Go to materials management. Okay. Go to purchasing. Okay. So you have now purchase order. Purchase order. Open purchase order here. Text for purchase orders. So if you open this, here you have define text types for header text so let me open a po again and open the po again so these are the header text right you see here header text header note so these things here define text types for header text if you go there that's okay continue you see here header text header note header text header note rising types rising types so all these things will appear over here so if you want to create a new one 
you can just create click on new entries and you give the number and the description okay if at all your client wants another text type okay this is for the header now let me go back copying rules we will be discussing shortly and these are the 